Hi there, Lauren Smith here from CFS Robotics, a company in South Africa focusing on robotic process automation technologies. Today, I'm gonna to give you a brief demonstration on how to create a bot to log into Salesforce. Now, the primary reason why I'm creating a separate task bot just to do a login is that we wanna leverage this particular task bot in multiple different bots moving forward. So different Salesforce actions or different Salesforce um, automations may need to be built but instead of building the login bot more than once, you can build it once and leverage it multiple times. So the first step in this process is to launch a browser. Um, and the browser that we're gonna launch in this case is obviously the login salesforce.com browser. And in this case, we're gonna leverage Internet Explorer. Now to, to put this control or action on the interface, all we need to do is browse for that on the left-hand side of the screen. So if I look for browser and I can see launch website, I just clicked on this and dragged it to the right hand side of the screen to launch that browser. What I'm doing next is actually waiting for the window to pop up. Um, this is a very important step because often um, what can happen is a bot can interact with a device faster than a human. So the bot could actually go to the next step without necessarily or having the window open yet to capture the information. So I've put this delay in just to wait for the window to open. And once that window is open, we'll start capturing information. Now, what I've noticed is I have a bit of a delay between the window actually opening and the page loading within the window. So I've captured a delay step as well. So you would, once again, browse for the particular action. I've got a delay one and I've captured it here. And in this case, I'm just doing a regular delay for five seconds. After the delay, I'm gonna actually start inputting data into the website that's popped up. In this case, the login to salesforce.com website um, and to do this, Automation Anyway provides us with a nifty tool called the Universal Recorder. So if I go to the left-hand side of the screen, I can look for the recorder and you'll see that there's a recorder capture action. And what this does is it actually you leverages AI technology to find components on the screen to capture information into. So what we found here is the username text box. You can see the description and the HTML tags associated to it. In this case, we're gonna do a specific action. You'll see we've got left click, right click, double click. Um, in this case, we're gonna do a set text because we're gonna capture my username information into the screen or into the text box in this case. Once I've done that step, the next step is to capture where the password edit box is on the screen. Um, again, I'm looking at the same Windows title and the same user interface. I've now captured the input control of password and again, I'm gonna set the text. In this case, however, instead of capturing that password manually um, using um, a manual interface, we're actually calling a variable. Um, and that password variable is stored in something we call the credential vault, which is a secure place where we store credentials to log in various systems. That's best practice, and that's what we've done here. The next step in the process is to obviously click the login button. Um, again, we've used the universal recorder um, with that AI Sense technology, the AI Sense te technology embedded within the recorder enables us um, or enables the bot to run successfully, even if the object may move around on the screen a little bit. Um, so it doesn't have, always have to be in the exact place. So we've captured what that object is. In this case, it's a button. Um, and the action that we're going to do in this case is click. Once we've clicked that, we should be logging in to Salesforce. <clears throat> so to run a bot, you just click the run button. What's happening now is that it's deploying the bot from my Linux server to my local Windows machine running Windows 10. Um, that bot is run now running on my machine. It's loaded the Internet Explorer interface. It's captured my username and password. And now we've logged into Salesforce successfully. You'll see that your bot message is your bot has run successfully. We were able to log into Salesforce successfully. and. Thanks very much for watching this demo. More to come. Have a great day.